the second of the two rod races. Next then, this is a nine furlong one, so a long way for these two rods to go. The top one is roundabout for Alex Cherry, Millwood Glantz for CDJ Liggett, then Stony Nose, Darren Thompson, Azuro, Michael Scala, Obi Wan for Paul O'Neill, Divine Latin, Graham Clutterbuck, Angel Haven, David Robertson, Zaf Zana for Craig Allen, Siliritas for Jim Murray, Keep Alive, Leon Van Rinsburg, Cool Sunset, Martin Leadham, and Silky Atlas for Ryan Costello. So 12 this time then. I think that's the smallest field we've had so far today. And they're all installed, the rain stops, ready to go. And they've pressed the button and away they go. A little bit slow out with Celeritas, that's a bit of a surprise because Jim Murray's are normally quick to the lead, but it's Obi Wan who's taking it up then. And Obi Wan for Paul O'Neill is the early leader with Keep Alive in second. The rest of them virtually in a line as they run through the first furlong. And Obi Wan is going straight for home, it would seem. He's quickly gone three clear. Uh, clear of Keep Alive in second. Celeritas, who was slowly away as now. Got through into third and is challenging four seconds. Almost he's like a normal Jim Murray also wants to be near to the front. Roundabout is back in fourth. Then comes Cool Sunset Divine Latin. He's also going quite well at this stage as well. We're looking towards the back. The back mark is probably just about Silky Atlas, but it's Obi Wan who's clear past the six furlong pole then with a lead of about three lengths to keep alive in second. Celeritas is close up with that one in third. Roundabout is fourth. Cool Sunset's got the rail on the outside of that one is Millward Glance. The one after that is Stone. Tony Rose, the one right up the centre of the track. He is Divine Latin. That one's going quite well as well as Euro. The back marker's no more than 12 lengths off the lead, but it's Obi Wan who's in front still, but only by a length and a half now to keep alive. It looks to be going well in second. Just taking a bit of a pull on that one, giving it a rest. There's still a fair old way to go. And Obi Wan has been scrubbed along to keep up to his lead. Keep alive now, coming back again in second. Celeritas is third. Then comes Angel Haven. Zafal is trying to get in it as well as Euro and Divine Latin. Cool Sunset switches off the rail. And towards the back roundabouts, just dropped to the back now, but it's Obi Wan in the lead. Obi Wan then racing down towards the final two furlongs and Obi-Wan's led all the way so far and still leads by two to keep alive on the rail at the centre of the track now Angel Haven is throwing down a big challenge Zafsala and Stony Rose as Euro Divine Latin down this near side and suddenly they swamp the leader and it's Angel Haven who goes on into the final furlong Angel Haven immediately pressed by Zafsala keep alive on the far side Cool Sunset finishing well so to Stony Rose they're racing the final half furlong and it's Zafsala who looks like he's going to hold this on finishing fast though it's Stony Nose Zafsala Stony Nose close Zafzala and Stony Nose close on the line. Zafzala probably just held on. But the angle can be very deceptive. It's close for third as well. And it's Stony Nose has got up to take it from Zafzala. So there you go. The angle pretty deceptive there. I thought was Zafzala had held on. And indeed it had. It's a dead heat. So a dead heat then in the sixth of the trial races so stony nose for darren thompson and zaf zala for craig allen dead heat for first cool sunset was third for martin Lidl. keep alive for leon van rinsburg was fourth and millward glance for cdj liggett was fifth and this is a good point a good opportunity to say to cdj liggett who appears to be the only new trainer involved today is, have a look at how your horses have done because most of these trainers are trainers who've been around a long time pick up Quite a few winners, obviously the likes of Craig Allen, Darren Thompson and Leon Van Rensburg are right at the top picking up most of the well, most of the winners, but they're winning their titles and things. But even the likes of Ryan Costello and Alex Cherry and, and me, Martin Leadham, are picking up 30-odd winners a season. So your, your horses are running pretty much on a par with ours. So you keep at it, you'll probably get a chance to stick a decent stable. And if you've got some jumpers as well, you'll do even better.